In this video, we're going to be subtracting across zeros. Now, when we're subtracting across zeros, we can group some of our values. Here we have 700 minus 55. Now, I cannot take 5 from nothing. There's nothing to borrow from here, but I can take from this 7. Now, I'm going to group into a 70. I'm going to borrow from 70. 70, if I take 110 from it, is going to become 69. Now, I've taken a 10, so I can move it into the ones. So now I have 10 ones and 69 hundreds. After borrowing from that group, I have to make sure I'm giving it to a column. If there's nothing to give to, your group is too big. We're going to start borrowing now that we have all of our numbers changed. 10 minus 5 equals 5, write the 5. 9 minus 5 equals 4, write the 4. 6 minus nothing equals 6, write the 6. Let's look at another example. Here I have 804 minus 249. Starting in the 1's, 4 minus 9, can't do it. So I need to borrow, there's nothing to borrow from. I go all the way into 8. I'm going to say that 80 is my group that I'm going to borrow from to give a 10 to the 1's column. If I'm borrowing from 80, I cross it out and it becomes 79. I borrowed a 10 into the 1's. Instead of 4 1's, I now have 14 1's. I can start subtracting. 14 minus 9 gets me 5. 9 minus 4 equals 5. 7 minus 2 equals 